Everyone, this week is Parsha Titzava. As I make this video, it's been 136 days since our brothers and sisters have been taken captive. May the schut, the merit of our learning, bring them home now safely to their families. In Parsha Titzava, we're told about the articles of clothing to be made for the priests and the high priest for the coin and the coin gadol while they do their service in the Mishkan and the Beit HaMikdash, the Tabernacle and the Holy Temple. Rabbi Sian Foyer, in his Igion Shel Torah, as I heard in a shir from Rabbi Rosner last year, the, there are two articles that have all 12 names of the tribes of Israel on them. The Choshen, the breastplate, was made up of 12 individual stones on one plate that was worn over the heart of the Kohen Gadol. The other article was the Avnei Shoham, two large stones that were worn on the shoulders. They had six names on one, six names on the other. The heart symbolizes our feelings, and we all feel things differently. How do you create a unified nation of 12 different tribes who feel things differently? Is to understand that we are equal space to the heart of the Kohen Gadol, the one who will do the service for the Jewish people, that they are unified around one idea, idea of service to God, that they are unified by being one people. The shoulders are symbolic of carrying a burden. And that when we carry a burden together, that burden is lighter. And it can only be successful when everybody is included. While I was in Israel, I was struck to see how many people, regardless of observance, were in these dog tags that say, bring them home now. Yellow ribbons on trucks, on cars bumper stickers, stickers in people's windows, bring them home now. The hostages tent outside the prime minister's residence in Tel Aviv Square, bring them home now is the message. And regardless of one's politics, we are all unified. We all are feeling this pain, but to remember that we are all unified and wanting to bring them home and to do whatever is necessary to bring them home now. So if you look at chapter 28, verses 12 and 21, we are being taught that in the service of God, the importance of being unified in everything that we do. And may the schut of the choshen, of the idea of the choshen, of our hearts being unified, of carrying the burden on our shoulders, the avne shoham, that we come together and we will be successful when we are unified together to bring home our brothers and sisters. And may today, day 136, be the last day that they are away from their families. If you like what you hear, please pass it on. Shabbat Shalom.